Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazura. Last week, the Steelers placed Anthony McFarland, Stephon Tewitt, and Zach Banner on IR, meaning they'll miss at least the first three games of the season. At first glance, Banner's IR trip seems most troubling, an added layer of uncertainty to a questionable Steelers offensive line. McFarland's loss is negligible, and Tewitt's on the surface feels manageable. After all, Pittsburgh's strongest depth is along its defensive line, with guys like Chris Wormley and Carlos Davis in particular able to step into his shoes. And there's a certain degree of truth to that, but it's going to take those guys playing at their highest level and then some to replace a guy like Tuitt. It's almost easy to forget how good Tuitt was in 2020. 11 sacks, third most of any interior defense lineman in football, only trailing Leonard Williams and, of course, Aaron Donald. Last season was the breakout year fans have been waiting for from Tuit, a time where good health and his talent combined to make him a force inside. He and Kim Hayward made up one of football's dynamic duos. They're well-rounded, great against the run and pass, who play a high volume of snaps with an unbelievable amount of effort. There wasn't a rotation, a hope for multiple guys to stay healthy, do their job well, just rolling out 91 and 97 each week and cashing in on the results. Now, it'll take a village to replace all that. Make no mistake, depth here is quality, much better than what the offensive line has without Banner. But don't let that fool you into minimizing to its loss either. It's a big one. Hopefully, he can return as soon as he's able to. It'll be a welcome sight. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Brian every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.